All right, so this is our robot, okay? Uh, if you have um, already seen some of the videos um, after you've built it, you might already know what it does, okay? So here, this can open and close like this, and it's designed to fit a piece of paper inside. Make sure that you have uh, a pencil, uh, paper, and the um, scissors, okay? So make sure you have paper, scissors, pencil. Order tracking is really, really useful for businesses because uh, it lets us tell our customers who are buying your things. Imagine if you are making shoes or making handbags for someone and your customer is in another part of Australia or they're overseas and they order it from you. Well, it might take them a few weeks before they receive it. But if they're waiting and waiting and waiting for a few weeks, they might get really, really frustrated because they're not sure if you got the order correct and they're not sure if the order is being sent and they might not be sure if you're a real business or not. They might feel like, oh, maybe I'm getting, getting scammed or getting lied to. Maybe I'm just paying someone and they're not making this order for me. So in order to keep our customers satisfied, we need to make sure that we have a way for them to track their orders. And eventually, we're going to draw uh, a diagram on this piece of paper and say, uh, this, is, this is my shop. And then this is the post office. And then this is uh, on the way to someone else's house. And then the final uh, location will be someone else's house. Okay? And then uh, this week and next week, we're going to be using the same model. Okay, We're going to use the same model this week and next week. So make sure that you have built your model correctly. Cool. All right. So um, uh, here, what we can do is we'll we'll fix this code a little bit we're going to get rid of this pardon me this part here that says to run a for uh for one second instead we're going to run it at 360 degrees because that makes it puts it in line with all our other stuff which is to um to move everything in degrees okay but make sure that every time we run this, we start off in this position, okay? So we start off um, with our, uh, our motors lined up with the zero and the circle, our knob going sideways, and our, um, our pin, our needle, all the way up, uh, up against the left-hand side here. I want you to create a new my block called Reset Position. And then whenever we run reset position, we want to move the needle all the way back to the starting position. And then mm -hmm. more motors and then A degrees counted. Oh, fantastic, Jeremy. Well done. Well done, Jeremy. So uh, Jeremy has, uh, has talked himself into the solution. Very, very good, Jeremy. So uh, that's exactly right. So. Uh, what he said was we use the run motors uh, like we have already because my hints are already here, right? So what we do here is that, okay, imagine if we set A now to run for 90 degrees here and then, um, and then 300 degrees here, right? Then we'll have to change it back over here to exactly what these things are. But we don't have to do that because we already have uh, a degrees counted block over here. So here for A, we rotate it this way for whatever degrees counted is, and then C rotated this way for whatever C is counted is. So we go C degrees counted degrees. I'll show you on the big screen. All right, check this out. Uh, we're starting on the cross, we press play. See? And it will always reverse, revert back to its normal position.